Hi everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. I apologize for recently using different narrators in my videos. This is because the narrator I usually use has become difficult to access. Whenever I find a suitable replacement, I always encounter minor shortcomings with that narrator. So, in essence, I ask for forgiveness for this issue. Hopefully, things will improve in the future. Anyway, as usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This Week in the New Normal This Week in the New Normal is Off Guardian's weekly chart of the progress of autocracy, authoritarianism and economic restructuring around the world. 1. Apparently weather modification is a thing. This week torrential rainfall in Oman and the UAE resulted in some of the worst flooding those countries have ever seen. Why? Well, climate change. Duh. But not just climate change. This is a report from MiddleEastEye.net. Climate change and cloud seeding exacerbated deadly flooding in Gulf countries. Cloud seeding too. Cloud seeding is the practice of spraying chemicals, usually silver or potassium iodide, into the atmosphere to bond with fine water vapor and cause heavier droplets, which then fall as rain. So, planes were flying over Dubai and Abu Dhabi spraying chemicals, they must have been, and yet anybody who saw them doing so, and said that's what they were doing, would have been branded a crazy conspiracy theorist. After all, chemtrails are just a paranoid conspiracy theory. Obviously, cloud seeding, stratospheric aerosol injection, and other forms of weather manipulation don't count. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. 2. Food Transition Making Strides A new study has allegedly found that if people started eating herring instead of beef, we could save 750,000 lives. Two days ago, the University of Minnesota Entology Department held an event called The Great Men's Sect Show 2024, where they promoted eating insects. It can be good for you and good for the environment, according to an article from AOL News. Professor Sujaya Rao, the head of the department, gave a TED Talk last year simply titled Why We Should Be Eating Bugs. Across the channel, Dutch retail chain Albert Heijn announced this week they will be creating a Food Transition Advisory Council, with the mission brief of making better food accessible together, for everyone. According to the write-up in European Supermarket Magazine, Emphasis added, The advisory board meet regularly to explore and discuss the role and power of food and drink in the transition towards a healthy, social, and sustainable society. Hmm. The indie has gone the more personal route this week, with a kind of slice-of-life column from a reformed picky eater all about how delicious insects are, mezcal-cured worms and cricket chili oil, why restaurants are ditching beef for bugs, which slips the messaging in at the end. Despite that UN report suggesting that wasps, beetles and other insects are underutilized as food for both people and livestock, there's some way to go in persuading legislators that bugs have a place in British diets for the sake of the environment and public health. It's certainly not me, or the thousands of people booking up these restaurants, that need convincing. The bug trend has well and truly landed. About as subtle as a brick to the face. 3. Google Sustainability Cards on the table. I have no idea if this is new or not. I just stumbled across it today, and wanted to mention it. Google Sustainability it's a specialized search engine that tells you how you can do X or Y in the most environmentally friendly way. 
Oh, it's Earth Day, by the way. So, as well as helping us be sustainable, Google has added a feature to their Maps app that encourages you to plan climate-friendly means of transportation. Good old Google, so friendly. Not at all the tip of the spear when it comes to global tech-based tyranny in a lovely green box. If you're imagining a future where using the green travel feature is mandatory, or where refusing to use it impacts your social credit score or something, then shame on you, you cynical so-and-so. Bonus, payoff of the week. This week, it was announced that Anthony Fauci has been awarded the prestigious Stern Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Public Health by the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. This is my description of the science trademark from last year. The science is a self-sustaining industry of academics who need jobs and owe favors. An ongoing quid pro quo relationship between the researchers who want honors and knighthoods and tenure and book deals and research grants and to be the popular talking head explaining complex ideas to the multitudes on television and the corporations, governments, and charitable foundations who have all of those things in their gift a better example I could not have hoped for. It's not all bad. Had trouble finding any good news worth reporting this week, but I'm not yet so taken by the bleak demons of despair to suppose that means there wasn't any. If you have some, put it in the comments below. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.